Hello and welcome back to the next mathematical symbol, which is the set symbol n. And throughout mathematics, it always denotes the so-called natural numbers. They are called natural because you use them for counting. However, sadly there is no consensus with which number you should start counting. Therefore, you usually find two competing definitions. On the one hand, the one where we first count one object, then two, and so on. And on the other hand, we have the definition where also no objects at all are represented with a zero. So there we have zero, one, two, and so on. Therefore, if you start reading a mathematical book, you always should check and make sure which of both definitions is used. For example, if the first notation for the natural numbers here is used, then also the second set is important and usually gets a new name like n with index 0. This happens because the natural numbers, including the zero element, represent a very important mathematical structure. Namely, it's a so-called monoid. More precisely, it's a monoid with respect to the addition. So there's an important fact. In the set of the natural numbers, we know what the addition means. This I don't have to tell you, I assume that you know what it means when you have to add numbers. However, if you want an explanation for this, an axiomatic approach, I have a whole video course about this called Start Learning Numbers. But most importantly, after you know how the addition is defined, we find two properties for it. First, we find it's an associative operator when we add three numbers. So we have a, b and c as natural numbers and then we get the equality for these two expressions where we just add the three numbers. So it means we can set parentheses as we want without changing the result. And now exactly this property is called associativity. Okay, and this is the first part we have for so-called monoid. And the second part is that a so-called neutral element exists. Often it's also called the identity element and it just means that it does not change the element in the addition. And now for our natural numbers here, this is of course the number 0. So a plus 0 is a again and also from the other side 0 plus a is also a. And this holds no matter which natural number a we choose. And with this you now know the definition of the mathematical concept called a monoid. And moreover, you also know an important example, the natural numbers, including the zero element. And now if you want to learn more about the natural numbers, you can watch my other videos, or otherwise we meet in the next video about mathematical symbols. Have a nice day and bye!